Hey everybody, Steve here, and welcome to a special episode of After Further Review. And I'm putting up this video because last night, Al Wilson over on his Hands On Games channel put down a wager for a game that we're going to be playing this Friday in Milwaukee. As I mentioned on the news this week, we're going to be playing a game against each other using second season football, and we'll both be playing teams from the recent 1957 set that was released, and that included an alternate history of the American Football League opening three years earlier. So I will be coaching the Boston Patriots, and I will be guiding the Los Angeles Chargers. And this was going to be just a friendly game, but in Al's video last night, he actually wanted to put a wager on it and that the loser of the game has to wear a jersey of the other player's favorite team. So if I win the game, Al will be sporting a New England Patriots jersey on one of his videos. And if somehow the Chargers are able to win, then I will be wearing a San Diego uh, jersey on one of my upcoming videos. And he also specified that he'd like me to get one in their alternate powder blue. So Al, I'm here to officially say that challenge and wager is accepted and may the best team win. So the game definitely got a little more interesting and I thought I would take this opportunity to showcase the two teams that are gonna be playing. So for everybody that is participating in my question of the week contest and making a prediction, maybe you can use this as a scouting report to see who you think is gonna win. First, we'll take a look at the visiting Boston Patriots. Now, this expansion team, it's led by their quarterback, Jack Del Bello. Jack Del Bello actually played one season in the National Football League with Baltimore in 1953. He was undrafted out of college, and unfortunately he had a fairly unforgettable one year in the pros, and after that he left to become a teacher. However, in this alternate history universe with the American Football League, opening its doors three years earlier. Jack is intrigued and gets pulled back in and he has a chance to now start on a team and maybe resurrect his career. Now the Boston offense is mainly a running team with Billy Vessels and Zolly Toth sharing the load. However, there are three pretty good receivers that Del Bello can utilize to keep defenses honest. Over on the, the Los Angeles side, they're led by quarterback Adrian Burke. Adrian Burke was a first round draft pick of Baltimore back in 1950, and he actually led the NFL in touchdown passes with 23 of them in 1954 for Philadelphia. Unfortunately for Adrian, he was out of the league in 1956. And so again, this is another chance for a former player to come into an expansion team early and have his chance to start and possibly resurrect his career. Adrian is definitely the best rated quarterback in the American Football League for this set. And he has a couple of really potent receivers to pass to. And he has a pretty decent offensive line guarding him. He also has a couple of good running backs Dan Towler and Emmett King, who will share the load in running. And the Los Angeles team is definitely an anomaly in this set in that they are a pass-first offense and perhaps a nod to the Air Coriolis offense that the Chargers would later use in real life. Flipping over to the defense for both teams, the visiting Boston Patriots actually have a couple of really great players on their team that get the all-star game on the line symbol, the middle linebacker Sisto Averno, and back in the secondary is Jerry Planetus. These were both players that had very short professional careers, and actually Sisto Averno, he played for five seasons and suffered a lot of injuries, and he actually had a reputation for playing injured. 
and later in life he would go on to be one of the biggest champions for getting better health care for professional football players. So the Boston defense, while maybe they wouldn't be able to stand up to some of the powerhouse NFL teams of this season, they definitely have a really strong defense for the AFL and they should give the Los Angeles passing attack a serious challenge. Over on the Los Angeles side, they have a pretty decent front four, led by Tom Feemster, who is one of the few players in the AFL that actually has a two rating. It's a fairly strong defense in the to covering the passing attack, although they are a little weak up front covering the ground attack, so it should be interesting to see how they match up with the Boston Runners. All right, guys, so there's just a quick overview of the team, so you can check out my news video from yesterday. I'll post links to that below. I'll even post a link to Al Wilson's challenge video, so you can watch that. And looking forward to everyone's comments. I'm really enjoying There's been a lot of comments already about predictions for the game. It certainly should be a fun event. Definitely looking forward to that. And then looking forward to the Fall Classic pre-play event that's going to be taking place on Saturday at the Board Game Barrister store. And I'll post links to that store as well. If you're in the Milwaukee area, please come check us out uh, this coming Saturday. And Al, I will see you on the Gridiron. All right, guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time after further review.